to everyone, you know. Give thanks to the moment, you know. to everyone, you know. thanks for all our elders we give thanks to the creator we give thanks for all the youths we give thanks for the sun and the moon for the heavens we give thanks for the earth from which we receive our substance from which we receive our life through which we receive our life Give thanks for His Divine Majesty and Pilate Selassie the First and Her Majesty Empress Men and I. Give thanks for the strength of our elders that have brought us here today. The strength of our mothers who has given us substance from their bodies, carried us in their bodies. For our fathers, thanks give thanks for all the youths we give thanks for all the elders again we give thanks for all our leaders over the years who have led us this far to this place a place where we can look with great insight into the future 
present where we can rise above oppression. We give thanks. We give thanks to everyone who watching. We give thanks to everyone who tune in. Go and tell your friends the chronics live. And a judgment. See? Go and go tell your brethren them car. Some people think a joke thing. See? So <laughs> Like we just start off first and foremost. I want to start off with this is a really nice book. All of you them who are watching, get yourself a copy of The Wise Mind. It's very short excerpts from his speeches. You know? And I always look to his majesty when it comes to um you know wisdom and insight as to oh you know it's his majesty speaking on character he says the acts by which we live and the attitudes by which we act must be clear beyond question principles alone can endow our deeds with force and meaning let us be true to what we believe that our beliefs may serve and honor us Loyalty inspires understanding and understanding cooperation. These are the clearest evidence of, evidences of strength. Do not be victims of temporary contentment and petty satisfaction. Aspire for worthwhile aims that shall be ideals for succeeding generations. Feel the need of others more than your own. If we permit ourselves to be tempted by narrow self-interest and vain ambition, if we barter our beliefs for short-term advantage, who will listen when we claim to speak for conscience? Play with me now. If we permit ourselves to be tempted by narrow self-interest and vain ambitions if we barter our beliefs for short-term advantage who will listen when we claim to speak for conscience and who will contend that our words deserve to be heeded so we give thanks for his majesty and we give thanks for all our brethren and sisters seeing and I have to give thanks for Honorable. You don't know, and you can't see her, but she's always with me. The original Kelisa, the roughest and toughest, like iron and steel and concrete and granite. Ace. Big respect to all of my Rastafari elders, you know. Right now, I have to hold back all certain energy, you know, because. I have to hold it forward because I'm very emotional at the moment, you know. So big respect to everyone who's watching from all over the world. All of my Rastafari, Virgin and Sistrin, you know. Today I'm not really here to represent um, any spiritual movement of such. You know, Rastafari is a global spiritual movement. And one of the only movements in the world which seeks to unify Africa as a common vision. Spiritual movement that seeks to unify Africa as a common vision. See, someone said, what book am I reading from? It's from the wise mind of his imperial majesty. You know, a lot of time when I post about his majesty, I see my fellow Eritreans and my, 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 my fellow East African. I've gotten opposition from them a lot saying, how could you post a dictator and um, all of these things? But we all, we, we, we live in America, we live in the Caribbean, we live in Europe. And here we are saying that His Majesty is a dictator. You know, we live in Jamaica where man celebrating independence and emancipation and all of these things. And yet, we still can't see the beauty in His Majesty. See, we can't, yet we still can't see the beauty in the unification of Africa as one. 
even us Africans, we are the ones I'm talking about. You know, we are the ones who deny ourselves of unity because of vain ambitions and wanting so much for our individual. We forget. And I hear people here talk, someone just comment on all different type of things and I'm not here to talk about any vaccine or any of those things because it makes no sense we talk about nothing until we address the sovereignty as a people. See? It makes no sense to talk about we will never have any say in who take a vaccine or how our children are born, what happened to a child the first hour when they are born. We will never have any control over these things until we speak on the subject of our sovereignty. Sovereignty. We're not talking about independence and the right to sell your soul if you want. I'm talking about your sovereignty. You know? And specifically, on the matter of sovereignty and all these things, we are talking about the global community of Rastafari. People are people who claim Rastafari. See? Yeah. And we have a big community of Rastafari bands. We have bands in California. We have bands in... I don't want the internet people to play around with me. Now. See? I feel like they are joking. Right? All these people who have reggae music band and all of my fellow brethren from... Spain, from Germany, from Italy, big up my brethren and we all know your names. We love you deeply. But here is here now is an opportunity for us to really prove our humanity and to take up our sovereignty in our own hands. Because one sovereign now go pass on sovereign to a next sovereign. Sovereign is something where you have to assume for yourself. Sovereignty, you have to assume that is through self-determination that you can truly say that you are sovereign. See? Now, we have a whole heap of brethren and sisters around the world. We wave the red, green and gold banner. We grow with dreadlocks in peace. We can travel the whole world with the dreadlocks. But member says Rasta woman and Rasta man who died for that thing. So all my brethren them in hip-hop with them long dreadlocks and my sisters in them with long dreadlocks. Remember that, you know, whenever you wear your dreadlocks proudly and can be proud that you are African, remember Rastafari. Remember the Rasta man and the Rasta woman in the Caribbean who was killed. See? Remember them. Think about them. Meditate on their lives. Meditate on their lives with, with respect and with honor and with dignity. Don't fly no red, green and gold banner and feel like that is enough. That's not enough. When someone gets violated, they need legal assistance. They need psychological assistance. There is finance that is attached to that. Financial aspects of that. Where... People, people not just gonna, everyone who want to hear singing, please come off of the live. Everyone who is here for singing, please, you don't have to be a part of the live. It's, you know what I mean? It's not important for us to be here if all we want to hear singing. Um, all the Rastafari community globally call upon them for, 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 for not for help, but to be on a true self. See me? To be on a true, true, true self. Because it no matter what else you do in life, you know? You know? And it no matter what, uh, what you accomplish for yourself and whatever. If you wave the banner of Rastafari and Rasta youth, I get them locks get cut off and them things. Everybody in the world gonna know exactly what's happening, you know? So, 
here's our opportunity and to clear on the subject of Jamaica and what it means to be a Jamaican, right? And now I talk to my global community, a Rastafari, right now I talk to my global community of Jamaican people. See? Now, what is Jamaica without Rastafari and Rastafari culture? Did anyone ever imagine those things? We would end up with something very close to what Alexander Bustamante's vision of Jamaica is and what Norman Manley and all of those guys, you last and share, all of them guys would have end up with what the PMP and the JLP want for Jamaica. See, that is what we would have as Jamaica if you subtract Rastafari from it. So all Jamaican people who wear them locks proudly to, to their work, the people in government who wear them locks proudly, the people meditate upon the many lives of Rasta women, Rasta children, you see me, who over the years have bled and died and suffered, you know. You are talking about people have been denied access to health care, access to education, access to capital, access to finance, access to their own culture and their own name. Imagine what our names would be without Rastafari. All of us would name Peter and um, we would have all these names, you know, forever. Errol, Selvin. George, it's them name they would have, you know, if it wasn't for Rasta, it's Rasta can give back with name. We never even have a name. For years, we never have no name. And His Majesty make we have that. Have we can baptize in our own church and worship our own Yeshua, Jesus Christus. And wear our own mescal and put on crosses and have our own mescal. How come we not appreciate that? How come we allow the government them of the world to undermine us for so long? And me I talk about we, the artists, them who, who we have the biggest stages in the world and the biggest voices. Listen to our lyrics. Listen to the lyrics of the young African man who living in the West. Listen to the lyrics of the young African woman who living in the West. And then we talk about all these little things and whatever. Listen to our lyrics. And then listen to the lyrics of Rastafari people. I hear them big up all these artists in the world who are great artists and great humanitarian. But let me tell you, music is one of the most powerful things that we have as African. Our voices. Because our ancestors speak through our music. The Almighty speak through with music. The cosmos access humanity through our voice. Not through the other in the body else. Through Rasta voice. See it? When Marcus Garvey says something, it is said. And then, half century down the road, Bob Marley sing it. Bob Marley, children never sing it. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. See? And it's when it sing, the whole world have meditated because it is now in the form of melodies. Sonical vibration that live on forever. And when you have a man like Bob Marley at the heights of his popular music career, and when we say popular music, you talk about of more than a hundred thousand people at a concert in Italy where the Pope there Pope and the beast live first time I sing Bondong Rome in Europe uh, in Rome where I do the concert and I say Bondong Rome and when we the Alexandria and when we the Alexandria Palace so Bondong Rome again and we go Israel and Bondong dirty Israel behavior where them have and all of them people eh, and them like a dirty Palestinian behavior and them and them disunity and them war will burn that 
to soul. So, to all the fellow Jamaican people them, who, you know, we, we, we have a culture, and we have a vital food, and we have a music, we have a Bob Marley, we have a don't worry about a thing, because every little thing, all of that is Rastafari consciousness. So this is my call for all of the, the youth them who benefit financially from Rastafari legacy. The Rastafari cultural wealth and cultural legacy. Please, please do not embarrass yourselves any further. Do not embarrass, let us not embarrass ourselves any further. 